audience. <laughs> oh my god. Hello everyone. This is this is gonna be like the this isn't normal fever dream spectacular extraordinaire. <laughs> I let's can we um can we just go down the list um and just kind of review everything? We're all like I won't speak for everyone. I'm here because I'm so fucking excited and so ready to be done with Derryton. Like we're so, like we're so close to being done. Um, but I have a head cold. Um, I got like that fun brain fog, like, you know, the kind that like just makes you be like, am I really in my body right now? Mm -hmm. um, just like that little bit of like, yeah, everything's a little messed up <laughs> in the old noggin today. Uh, where's where's everyone else at? I'm great. I can't eat food, and I have slowly been not able to eat food for like three weeks. It's getting worse. So my energy levels are all over the place because I ate for the first time today five minutes ago, and it made me feel sick. So good. Uh, today was the first day with no fever, but I wasn't gonna miss this, guys. Like I was not. No. I need this. I don't care. I don't feel good most days and i will literally <laughs> typically not cancel or skip i will also insist on a double most days yeah and will you, you will you said yeah. you're feeling just ducky oh i'm i'm great today but i think that's on account of i got triple vaccinated friday so my entire weekend was just deep fried agony um <laughs> So I, so I woke up today and I felt good and the only problem in my life was my left arm still felt a little bruised. Uh, so I got up and I started an embroidery project on the most intensive Ooh. pair of destroyed pants I've ever seen in my life. Nice. Ooh. Very so, excited about that. So um, I, I was speaking to Will one-on-one -on -one before you guys hopped on and I was like, I might need to lean on you guys a little bit for today because I'm just like not... <laughs> a hundred percent and um and everyone the else is just fried the reality is that like just <laughs> like I, I don't anticipate that this is going to be a bad episode if the energy is a little lower my sincerest apologies but um i think we're going to be in for a good time um no i think what typically happens is the day that anyone feels like slightly off or just kind of like mind wandery um, is the day that we, like, just forget what we were supposed to do and then do whatever the fuck we want and then gain <laughs> consciousness the next day and go, oh, shit. <laughs> this, no, this cannot be today. This cannot <laughs> be today. All right? Oh, perfect oh, day yeah, for everyone to have brain fog. Oh, it's, uh, oh, it's hell of a lot of right now. The oh, consequences, no. they're catching up to us. <laughs> shit. I'll, uh, it's got to be fogless. I I'll, literally watched the live episode today i listened to the episode yesterday and today i was like what are we doing <laughs> let me let me just get you guys caught up real quick last episode y'all got fucking arrested uh by the town of Derryton for your role in the murder of legendary which you all definitely did um so you all got brought in and uh, classic This Isn't Normal character Dirk Pickles, attorney at law, came in to try and bail the three of you out. Turns out that he knew Cosmo, and he knew you were all associated with each other. And he was like, all right, we're going to pin this all on Deese and the Fingies. And by the way, you all also learned that <laughs> Deese's full name is Dernest Shramp. Uh, you know, just... You want to know why he goes by Deese? His initials are D.S., Deez. Yes, <laughs> co correct. That's that's why he goes by Dees. I was Arlo. I was trying to figure out all like why the fuck does he go by D Dees when his name is Dernest and or Shramp? <laughs> and then it hit me, and I te I emailed, texted Max, and I was like, "You fucking Arlo again." <laughs> I, I pulled an Arlo again, um, and so what happened after that? You you were like, "No, you can't." You can't throw you can't throw Deese and the Fingies under the bus. I won't let you. And Dirk was like, no, 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 no. Well, just stay put, and old Dirk Pickles is going to take care of everything. Uh, you also caught up with Stabby Frog, who you, I believe, all collectively agreed, you're just going to fucking leave him. You're just done with that shit. There's just... What? We, we no did break the F arm, though, so... 
you you broke the shit out of his arm, and then he stabbed himself, uh, which, on top of the rest of your injuries, prompted Forchi's Italian to bring you all to the hospital uh, for the night so you could rest up. And then once you were there, Cosmo, you called your mysterious father, Willoughby Stone, uh, who sent who sent Dirk Pickle's attorney at law to uh, help you out, and you were like, uh-uh, no, 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 no. The Fingies and Deese are off limits. You cannot touch them. You cannot pin Legendary's murder on them. And your dad kind of absentmindedly was like, yeah, sure, whatever. So we have, we've woken up on 420 in the year 2033. It's, it? another, it's another bright and sunny day in Derryton. <laughs> as, oh, uh, hey, before, oh, yeah. Before you- Sorry, before you get into it, I just want to say, every time you say Dirk Pickles, attorney at law, I just immediately hear it in my mind, Dirk Pickles, attorney, attorney at large. <laughs> attorney at large. He's, he's a rogue he's lawyer. <laughs> he has to be Someone's stopped. Someone's got to catch him. <laughs> um, and so, at, at, like, the wee hours of the morning, it's like 6.30 a.m., and four cheese Italian kicks in the door with uh, a couple of um, uh, other police officers. And she says, good morning, everyone. We are so, so sorry about the mix up and the confusion. What? What mix up? Uh, you, you, your friends and that weird frog are, you're all free to go. So we're not being uh, charged with a weird murder frog? attempted or otherwise. No, I, you guys haven't watched the news. They they caught the bastard who did this. No, no we've been sleeping for the past How three hours since he left us three hours ago. Who did it? I'm so oh, curious. I'm, no one I recognize. Some like <laughs> waiter out there. I don't know. It's on the. You can watch it if you want to. But they 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 figured it out. I turned the news on. All right, you see, you hear, you hear as like a Uh-oh. little news anchor pops up. This is your conveniently placed breaking news. We are live outside of Late Night Bites, where Late Night Bites server Gregly has been arrested for the poisoning and murder of a legendary. At the crime scene, they found a bucket of JP Science Man's I really can't fucking believe this isn't butter, which we believe was used to poison our dear, sweet, dairy-loving superhero. And uh, you watch as, like, Gregly is escorted out in handcuffs, and you hear, "Uh, uh, I'm a waiter. Has everyone forgotten how restaurants work? I didn't put the butter on. Uh, What? Uh, As he's being led away. And the the announcer says, this has been breaking news. And then she just, like, stares at the screen, not saying anything. She doesn't have any point for the plot anymore, so I guess I'll turn the TV off. (laughs) Cosmo is looking like they might throw up. But they're holding it together. Well, rip yeah. to Gregly. Rip R. to Gregly, indeed. That's so funny. Cosmo's just like, oh my god, I feel terrible for like throwing this innocent man under the bus. But also, there's no fucking way Cosmo's gonna turn around and be like, oh, guys, you got the you wrong guys, guy. We gotta save Gregly. <laughs> rip, rip Gregly. <laughs> <laughs> rip Gregly, he was a real one. No, honestly, when we get back to the hotel, I might just... I might just, um... I don't have a plan. I don't think it'll actually work, but I'm really curious because it totally might. Um, Max, you are not allowed to know that this plan might work. Just don't think about it. What if I go to Greg in the gardens and I ask him to please bring Gregly to visit? And then we just do not ever send Gregly back. <laughs> he just lives in the Hotel Minnesota forever. He's Gregly. lost in the hotel in Minnesota. No, I think we Gregly, can take you him have, to Snoop. You have options here. We're gonna we're gonna bring you to the hotel Minnesota, and then he's gonna be like, "What's going on here?" And, and we're, we're gonna like, be like, "Listen, this is a haunted hotel in a different dimension. We just you have can to spend say, life in prison, or you can spend life in here." We just have to tell Gregly <laughs> we're so sorry because it looks like the chef who killed. Legendary framed you, so we busted you out of prison because we know you didn't do it, buddy. Anyway, we got you a job as a way to hear this haunted magical, <laughs> and we just set him up with Snoop. That's what we'll do for Gregory. <laughs> That's so funny. 
I'm going to I'm going to have to think about that one. It's it's a really it's a really good plan. I know. I thought of it with absolutely minimal brain power. <laughs> it took me hours. I like I'm, I'm writing it down. I'm not even going to lie. I was I knew Tuesday, the day after we recorded last time, I was like it's got to be Greg Lee. I he's mm-hmm. he's the one who's going to have to take the fall for this. Um and I was like I wonder if they'll like turn themselves in and like then flee the state or no you're just gonna kidnap him yes and then set him up to work in the hotel minnesota how else how do you think other humans get set up in the hotel that is exactly what happens is you have your life ruined by magical means definitively and then someone or something feels really bad for your ass so they drag you to this interdimensional interplanar super hotel and say you're here for life Uh, yeah well he could be like you know he might end up doing like being like dr maple who like started interning in a magical gift shop and now is a retail doctor who works uh in a, a different magical gift shop like i'm pretty sure maple like dr maple is just a regular human person yeah yeah so there we go that's all yeah. my case closed all right great uh so anyway Back back at it at Krispy Kreme, uh, Four Cheese Italian sets all of you guys free and is like, oh, yeah, the um the frog's going free, too. I guess some, like, other body washed up in Darrington Park. Um, and obviously he was under surveillance for the last, like, you know, day, well, few mm-hmm. weeks, really. Um, so I guess someone's just trying to frame the weird frog. I I don't know. Uh, so anyway, everyone is free to go and we will be taking it from here with Greg Lee. Uh, thank you for seeing that justice was served. Mm hmm. Yep. Served like the ER at late night bites. Don't joke about that. That, that is too soon. Oh my God. I know a man, a man died. Wow. Have uh, some yeah. respect. He yeah. was poisoned by it's super not fucking butter. It's super not JB Science Man's. It's super not fucking butter. <laughs> I still can't believe it. That did him in. I guess they couldn't really perform an autopsy because his body was just like hard, like overcooked beef. So they couldn't really like get into there to figure it out. So it was kind of just like the best case scenario. I'm sorry. You guys don't want to hear all the grisly details. I, I'm, um, you're all set to go. Um, feel free to leave me a review on Yelp. It'll be fine. Um, bye! And she leaves. She's getting a two-star wow. review from me. Cosmo looks like they have whiplash. That's, yeah, that's... <laughs> uh, are, like, are the Fingies and Deese and Stabby Frog with us? Yeah, they're out, like, in the hallway as you guys leave. Deese is, like, staring at the three of you, like, oh my god, did you, did you hear what happened? Cosmo yeah. lowers their voice real Dang. low and say... Yeah, but I know what we're going to do about it. Yeah, it's real. I'm so glad they caught the real guy. Are, are we breaking Greg Lee out of prison? Shh. Please, shut up. Sorry, right. <laughs> uh, no, he's going to rot, that bastard. Anyway. Um, okay, great. Let's fucking leave. Uh, so as you try to exit, Stabby Frog steps in front of the three of you uh, and says... Just a moment, friends. I must congratulate you for figuring out the horrible things happening in Derryton and securing my release. Yep. Yeah. We did that. Hey, Stabby Frog, um, you didn't you don't happen to know who specifically was framing you, right? Well, I had my suspicions for a while. However, last night's incident confirmed it for me. I'm sure you've been able to put together the pieces. Um, You've been here for a few days, so surely you were able to use your connections at the library to look into the murders, maybe interview a few witnesses, and discover that while my alibi was solid for each and every event, there was undeniable proof that a piece of me, DNA evidence, was left behind at every scene. Uh Uh-huh. Yes. And... And so I'm afraid <laughs> I am responsible for the atrocities in Derryton. Explain? Yep, yeah, that's... So, do you have a twin? Or a clone? Or no. A shadow? Uh, 
none of the above. Now, this may come as a surprise to you fine folk, but uh, hold on to your suspension of disbelief when I tell you I am actually not a real frog. No! <gasps> Oh, what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> you see, I serve a very old and very sacred order of individuals who are set to correct errors in time. What the fuck? Well, I'm sure you probably pieced that together. I'm traveling murder frog, got it? Correct. Yes, uh, that's a what bit of an oversimplification, fuck? but we the all serve. looking around. <laughs> Dees, Dees is banging his head against a wall. <laughs> uh, Cosmo like puts their hand up, so they're not. He doesn't like sustain damage, but just yep. Yeah, he's just he's just banging his head uh, against your hand now. As Stabby Frog continues, we serve an ancient and powerful concept of time to right wrongs committed on the timeline. While you humans have primitive access to time travel and can update things, the things my brethren and I do are permanent. They are forever. They always have been and will be. Now, I have not committed the atrocities in Darryton yet, which can only mean that I must have come back from the future to wreak havoc on this town. So, do you, have any... you just haven't committed the crime yet. Correct. But he will in the future, which will then be in the past. It's like a loop. You know when you're sewing and it's like a you got like a, a sewing needle and you like backstitch? Yes, so it, 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 it is like, exactly like, like that. So what you're saying is I need to send you back to prison. No, no, no for the love he of hasn't God, done no. It yet. Yeah, but he will. And it's already but happened you, here but you by will. someone. It's already happened here. The crime has occurred. Just because you have not committed the crime does not mean that you cannot suffer for the crime you will commit. Cosmo. It's Cosmo, right? It might be. Now, I would like to propose to you that because these crimes have been committed, in all likelihood, this conversation does not end with me going back to prison or you killing me here. My proposal is that we find myself and put a stop to this. Yeah, okay. When do we have to go back in time for that? No, no, no heavens, no. He's here being a dick. Okay, so what? I'm gonna. Well, we're gonna. We're gonna late. We're, no, 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 no. <laughs> Before we get too far into uh, Tim, Timity, Timity, Shimity, Wimity, um, you need to immediately have a new name that will be separate from the new f other murder frog. Um, unless you oh, remember I... this conversation, and by that point, well, we haven't had this conversation yet, so I don't remember it. No, you don't. But the the I version think of you we that's. Call him stabbert frog okay you're stabbert frog now uh it's also possible the other version of myself might already have a different name care that doesn't matter you're stabbert frog now okay uh dees kind of like puts a hand on uh chris and iris's shoulder and is like can we um can we take a huddle please sup big guy he he brings all of you in and says, <laughs> "Hey guys, what the fuck?" Oh, that's Stabber Frog. I don't know. I don't know. This I don't know. I you know what I do know? Um, I absolutely believe him. And you want to know why I absolutely believe him? Because he's not making any fucking sense, and nothing about any of the magic <laughs> makes any sense whatsoever. Why in the world does the hotel have an entire floor dedicated to frogs? Well, apparently they're time-traveling assassins. Apparently they are time-traveling assassins, yes. So I absolutely b believe this freak of nature. Um, because I, 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 I can't draw any logic anywhere else in this situation. <sighs> Alright, Stabbert. Where are we going, <laughs> buddy? And, uh... Stabbert says, well, unless you have all seen another version of me running around, I suspect it's somewhere that none of us have visited yet. And for me, there's only one likely place where another version of me would be holed up. The Bovarium? The Bovarium. 
Nice. Cosmo checks off a sheet that says I was right. <laughs> <laughs> I suspect we travel. We should we should travel in a group. Uh, it's very possible he will be expecting all of us. Um, can we call murder f- the the actual murderer frog? Can we call him Stabler Frog? What if we just call him? What if we just call him Murder Frog? We can do that. As this is Stabby Frog, also known as Stabbered Frog, who hasn't committed murders, but the other one has. Can we call him the Murderer? Yes. <laughs> the Murderer <laughs> Frog. The Murderer Frog. <laughs> Future Stabby um, Frog, Murderer. I'm just writing down committed vicious atrocity. Right, good. Well, if we have all that in order, shall we head right? If we I have other at, business to attend to, I don't remember it. I look at these and the thingies. Are they, like, well enough to do this? They look emotionally done. Uh, but Relatable. Physically, physically, they look like they were able to recover a little bit of health after um, their... Uh, adventure yesterday all right i look at look at my boys and then i look at the team d's boys and i say to team d's let's actually end this and let's get you this win so you can be done and uh with that you all exit does everyone pile into iris's van yes yeah yeah (laughs) how tight is it in there with uh seven of you it doesn't matter so, because Cosmo's sitting like it, Cosmo's sitting on somebody, like just hugging them. <laughs> Cosmo needs some like affection right now. <laughs> so the front has like a driver and a passenger seat, and then there's like the back part, which, for all intents and purposes, has maybe like two or three seating options, and then like a little bed at the back. So you could fit everyone in there. They just might. Some of them might end up sitting on the floor or like in a group pile on the bed yeah i think um i i really should have been a little bit more specific that's where the brain fog's coming in so your van is being driven by bosco i should i should clarify and bosco sure. waves bosco waves as you all come on and then kind of like recoils a little bit when stabby frog enters he's fine yeah. this <laughs> is this is stab this is stabbert our good friend who hasn't committed murders unlike the future version of himself Murderer, der, der, der. murderer, frog, murderer. <laughs> Forgot it already. It's a good one. <laughs> Bosco nods slowly, and uh, <laughs> the RV drives <laughs> over to uh, Darryton Prairies. Stabbert, Stabbert points at uh, one of those large mounds of of blue, uh, supposed to lead down into where all the cows are, and he says. That will be where we will need to go. You really changed when you got out of prison. <laughs> prison, prison changes you. Prison changed <laughs> me, Cosmo. And uh, the um. Wait, Stabbert. While we're driving, um, we no party frog. And uh, now that we've met you, I want to ask because you seem pretty coherent and helpful. Why did you say hello, Abigail? earlier when we met you in prison i'm not do you sure. have any co- do you have any correlation with the name michael does that ring any bells for you no but um perhaps you have heard something from me that hasn't happened yet or had happened but hasn't i haven't you know it's like a whole thing oh i know what you're doing ah oh. Uh, Deese is like, shut up! Oh my god! He's pulling a homestuck. He is pulling a homestuck! I didn't (laughs) want to say it, but he is! Fuck off with your homestuck! And uh, Stabbert is like, I I really don't know what that is. you need a bucket, Do you have one? No, not for you, I don't. (laughs) Oh. I see. And the, uh, the van rolls up um, so, like, at the foot of this massive, uh, unnatural hill is this kind of gate, uh, like a little axis uh, switch. What's the word I'm looking for? You know, like a gate goes up and down, and, yeah. and there's a little, there's a little uh, panel with a speaker in it. And Bosco um, pushes the button as Stabby Frog, like, kind of clamors over him and says, and you hear, uh, yeah, um, 
I, I, I'm guessing you're the van. This is, yeah, we kind of, um, I, I guess you have a meeting with the boss. I, I don't know much about it, but, um, and Stabby Frog says, that will do, my young friend. Please open the gate so we may proceed. Uh, and the gate opens as the van starts to roll in. I lean over to Cosmo and I whisper so that Stabbert can't hear us. What what if this is actually Murder Frog and Stabbert Frog is not the one with us? That would be par for the course. But I just realized I'm 99.9% .9 sure that the big evil that's terrorizing this town is Stabby Frog. Oh, I thought that was clear from, no. from everything else. No, I'm sorry. I, I've been through a lot in the past 24 hours that just kind of, that just like clicked. Mm -hmm. And I'm, yeah. I'm very just like, God damn it. I'm surprised with all of the investigation and deduction that you all put into my case that you weren't able to put it together sooner. I mean, we were... If I'm going to be honest with you, uh, we we didn't actually investigate you at all, really. No, oh. we were invest we were investigating a different lead, and then it just so happened that you also just got released from prison when we did. Oh, the orphans well, were really uh, adamant about you. I kind of uh, thought out. I kind of <laughs> thought the orphans did it. Oh, well, Chry Chrysanthemum, you surely took some time to investigate this, right? This shouldn't come as a surprise to you. Dude, I'm going to be real honest with you. I forgot about you for like half of this thing. Uh, I'm I'm so sorry, but uh, uh, you're, you're really cool and all, but I just, yeah. Oh, I mean, like it's it's like like it's no it's no fault against you. I'm sure your murders were like awesome or whatever, but <laughs> Uh, we're like 99% <laughs> certain that uh, Legendary was also just killing people for things like tax fraud. Yeah. So. Yeah. He seemed like more uh, of an issue yeah. at the time. Uh, the, uh, the the van uh, rolls to a halt as Bosco points and outside there's a, a, a young woman in like a um, orange like safety vest and she's kind of like flagging you to stop. Uh, and she comes over to the window and is like, well, hey, folks, good morning. How we doing? Great. Oh, that's awesome. Good. Yeah, you are you guys are the VIPs, right? Definitely. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Fantastic. Yeah, right no, uh, we heard from Mr. Renee that you were going to be coming today. Um, so, uh, yeah, we, we, we were expecting you. Uh, we do offer premium valet service to people who um, are personal friends of uh, Mr. Renee. Um, so if you'd like, we can park this in our garage and um, the uh, the moving sidewalk can take you over to his office. No. Uh, um, nah, that's okay. Maybe we just we want, know. No, we just want to use the regular parking lot and then we'll walk up like everybody else. Mostly because... Um, I don't like other people driving my van that I don't know. <laughs> oh, um... Sure, no problem. Uh, yeah, so it's uh, just keep going straight down here. Um, you'll see another uh, person, you know, a little bit back. You're going to take a right, go down in the garage, um, and then just park anywhere. There should be something on the second or third level, I would imagine. Okay, thanks. Awesome. Okay. Uh, so when you're done, just come back up here. Believe me, you're going to want to take the moving sidewalk. It's a bit of a hike. Okay. Okay. Great. Thanks. Have fun. Uh, and she she waves the van forward as Bosco is like kind of eyeing her from the uh, rear view mirror. And D says, what the fuck? I want to go home. You know what I'm curious about, Stabbert? Why? 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 Why were you sent here to clean up your own mistake of killing people? And then you also became the target in this game that no one understands how it's run or like where the targets come from and... You just became one? Oh, I was actually here on vacation. What a whack place to go for a Are vacation. You, like, at your core, um, a human being or otherwise? Uh, you see his eyes kind of perk up from behind the, the mask, and he says, Once upon a time, yes, I was a very simple human being. But the work my kind must go through is rigorous, and it changes you otherwise okay okay uh and the, and the van parks 
Um, <laughs> sorry, sorry. I like I've been like going down this like rabbit hole, uh, and my brain hasn't like fully processed what any of this means yet. I've just been taking notes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, so you all exit the van. Um, Bosco, Bosco looks at you, Iris, like, am I coming? Am I going? Do we want Bosco? I think Bosco should stay here. Um, one, for their mm -hmm. own safety. And two, the whole reason I didn't want them parking your car is because if we need to make a speedy getaway, I want to know where the car is. And it's very helpful if someone's already in it, ready to go. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Bosco nods gives you all a thumbs up as a uh, Cosmo you bump into like a very well-dressed young man who's holding a tray with like sparkling water and says oh can I interest you all in a glass for your for your trip no thank you I garage. don't care for sparkling no. water I have regular as well in the parking garage I don't care for <laughs> oh um okay I yeah, don't no I just don't want you to have my DNA so no thanks what? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Okay. Um. Well, in, enjoy your stay at the Bovarium. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. Thanks. <laughs> Honored guests. Uh, as you as you all as you all head back up uh, onto that main level where you were at um, with the attendant, and so past her, you're all in like this um, very circular tunnel. Think of like. Um, those awful like boring company loops out in california um yeah. but but much wider and taller and so off to the side of the main road you see this little uh hand railing and a moving sidewalk um and the attendant you saw before says all right um well uh do you have any questions before you hop on yeah what's mr renee's first name Oh, I have it written down here. One sec. We don't um we don't use first names a lot. It's a confidere. Confidere. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I have a question. Can I run on this? Oh, um, forwards mm -hmm. or backwards? I either. I guess. Um, uh, where's the nearest emergency exit? Oh, um, well, that's going to be, you're going to head back down the tunnel, and then mm -hmm. off to your right is a set of stairs, and you can take those back up as sort of a speedy way to get to the surface. Okay, thank you. I like to be safe. Any other questions? Uh, do you have any snacks? Oh, yeah. What what kind are you looking for? I oh, don't know. Bar. We have, um, uh, we have no. cheese curds, Chris, Chris beef like jerky. Um, what? We have, you have carbonated uh, clam chowder. Doodles. Oh, do you have whole zucchini clam chowder? We have milk slapped. duds. <laughs> milk duds, ew. Um, mm, wait, I yeah. want those. <laughs> <laughs> Iris, don't They're get this too sticky. DNA. I'm good. Well, oh, oh, so you can have carbonated clam chowder, which is I don't a think they have that. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I can't have a box of milk duds, which doesn't even leave my lip prints on anything. I could even <laughs> eat the box if I wanted to. Deez is pinching that. the bridge of his nose as you just see him and the thingies like riding the moving sidewalk away from you all. You know, we gotta catch up to them <laughs> as they're running. Bye. Go, go after them. <laughs> all right. Uh, so the seven of you stand on the moving escalator and sidewalk as the uh, thingies turn to you, Chris, and says, Do you know what this man's name is? This guy, I point to the. the a uh, man who has been helping us this whole journey? No, the so-called leader of the Bovarium. I know. Do you? It's Confidere René. Do you know what Confidere René is in Latin? Um, actually, I don't speak what? Latin, so no. No, we don't, we don't speak Latin. Stab Why don't frog. you just tell us up front, Fingers? Oh, well, that's funny. That's, re that's really funny, actually. I'm calling him Stabby Frog. I'm actually just, I I'm going to let you guys know. I'm going to go in there and be obnoxious, and I'm going to call him Stab Frog. That's it. He doesn't get to have a cool name. So we're taking oh. back the Murdler? Oh, wait, is the Murdler, <laughs> the Murdler is better. <laughs> All right, I'm erasing Stab Frog and re-highlighting re murdler -er. Wait, is, our, is Stabbert Frog with us right now on this moving escalator? Yes. Yeah, he's right there. Yeah, he's right here. Okay. All right. What's up, Stabber? Stabber, uh, Stabber you got like a really 
really pompous name. <laughs> <laughs> Stabby Frog stares blankly at you as a to your left along the um the wall of the tunnel, this like kind of wall of screens opens up and you're greeted oh, I don't by like uh like, like that. Yeah, it like flashes white and then to green and you're nope. you're staring at uh Darryton Prairies and you hear Yeah you're standing in one of mankind's <laughs> most famous structures. Hi, I'm Bill ba I'm I'm Bill Bonanski, and I'm here to walk you through the history of this of this fine establishment. Is there a is there a mute button on these screens? <laughs> <laughs> Can you roll computer use? Yeah, I'm not gonna do good, but I can do it. What's base computer use? Who it's has who like, has it? It's probably like one. Let's see. Oh. Hold on. Hold I don't on. have a character uh, sheet. Computer sheet. use has a base percentage of zero percent. Oh. <laughs> wait, I have well, so that's... much oh, wait, I have so much in computer use. Hold on a second. Cosmo well, is like actually talented. Give me one moment. <laughs> well, I rolled an 86, so I did not get that. Chris, Man. you start you smacking the screen. <laughs> um, oh, Maybe shit. Maybe this will work. Guys, don't hate me. I left all my dice in the car. Oh. What? <laughs> no! <laughs> Wait! This is one emergency backup. I forgot my dice someplace. R4. I forgot. <laughs> 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 Um, can I roll? Because I have a lot in computer usage. Yeah, of course. You you just start watching as Chris is like smacking the screen trying to make it stop. <laughs> I, I'm I like smacking the screens I, as we go by them. I pat, <laughs> excuse me, I pat Chris's arm and I'm just like, stand back, watch this. And I go oh. to mute it. And that's a 47, which definitely succeeds. Uh, it is a success, just a regular one. All right. Uh, so you hear from your muffled pocket, Carmo, Carmo. Hello, I pick up my phone. Hey, it sounded like you needed to use your Hack the Cows app to hack something. You're right. I'm sorry, Lola. Can can you please use Hack the Cows <laughs> app to shut off this extremely annoying and not at all helpful and or informative thing? Oh yeah, no problem. And uh, instantly, instantly, all the screens are muted. Um, <laughs> and you you watch as like you're like going down the line. There's like dance numbers and like <laughs> interpretive miming. Uh -huh. um, mm -hmm. But right at the end, uh, you can feel the moving sidewalk starting to slow down, and the screens all turn, and they're they're all replaced by this um by this gaunt man with this yellowish greenish skin and this pair of piercing white eyes that uh drill into your very soul and all the screens uh now on either side of the tunnel are just this kind of big brother ass looking man um and the I, uh huh I unmute it sorry I, if I didn't say that earlier I unmute it so we No can you this you man. yeah the thing is, there's no words. It's just his face. Weird-looking man with white eyes. I turn to Stabbert and I say, um, is this very creepy man you? He took the mask off. So is he you not look supposed like to that do that? There? Is he not supposed to do that? It means he is more far gone than I had feared. Okay, so the murderer is um, <laughs> 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 Murder is a rogue agent. <laughs> I fucking love the murderer. Um and so the moving sidewalk gently uh puts out on um the uh puts you all out on the sidewalk um in front of this uh one fairly pleasant looking wooden door that on it says uh uh mr renee take that sign yeah you're the murderer right in sharpie murderer <laughs> do you you're vandalize the this sign real quick Deez has a sharpie yeah, <laughs> yeah is it is it like one of those little plaques on a door um it's actually fairly easy to remove 
like it slides out. Like it's so what if we like... just what if we just like stole that and then like <laughs> graffitied the door to have more <laughs> in on it? Okay, that's fine with me. Uh, turn to Stabbert. Can we have? Can we? Uh, do you mind if we like to face your office door? Well, it's not really my office door, so yeah, go ahead. It will be, so it's fine. Um, that was that was enough confirmation for me. Um, oh, uh, second just... question, actually, for Stabbert. Um, will you be okay if you watch us kill you? Are you gonna help us? Of course, I will assist you. Oh, nice! Excellent, sweet. sweet. And I already you hear know that we will be victorious. I figured, uh, figured I'd ask that before. So we, we murder you in front of you, and then you're like, "Man, that was actually upsetting." And then yeah. if me, you die, Stabber, you die me, in the future too. Well, let me ask you something. Doing what we're about to do, knowing what you seem to already know, how likely are you to become this version of yourself? I serve time itself. Cool. To be standing here, <laughs> to know what we are about to face. It is almost undeniable that I will one day become the murderer. <laughs> Go on. No, that's it. Oh, yeah, Chris, you were asking. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Uh, yes, okay. no, when, this, will, this will be the end of my life. No, but like if you if you you like you current you dies, what about the murderer? Oh well, the murderer would never exist. Yeah, so then like, but the murderer does what? exist. Right, right, right. So you don't die here. So that's a good sign for us. I believe so. Yes. Okay. And like, what if we were to like not? This is hypothetical, Stabber. Keep this in mind. I was just pointing at you for this. <laughs> Please keep this in mind. This is hypothetical. <laughs> if we were to, if we were to murder you, Stabber, then right now, right now, at this very moment, outside of this door, then the murderer would not exist. Right? Would, wouldn't that be right? interesting? Because consider this. If we... <laughs> Renee knows that we're about to start attacking Stabbert, which we are not. This is hypothetical. If Renee knew that, wouldn't it actually be us? Like, with Renee trying to stop us, who's trying to attack Stabby Frog, who's trying to attack Renee, it'd be like a three-way fight. Hypothetically. Hypothetically. For the first time since you've seen <laughs> one of these frog creatures, and I'm talking party or Stabby, uh, <laughs> You see what very well could be a semblance of fear as he says, well, hang on. No, no, no. Let's, let's no, no. not get no, 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 no. We're just scientists. Oh. Oh, hold on. You guys have actually just activated a neuron in my brain, and I need to talk with my three friends and also my other three friends real quick. My, uh, my sure. five... I'll my five friends please nope, stabbard no please problem. respect yeah. our boundaries I'll i just need to have a conversation with my friends right over here without you i'm sorry i love uh, you no uh no problem and stabby frog like goes back on the moving sidewalk but like the other way and just starts like walking against it <laughs> <laughs> uh guys yeah. uh you brought up a point of what if if he knew that we would be coming here to kill the future him yeah. what if this is the future him and he's not cool with and he wants us to kill the other him to stop him from it's a it's a very convoluted i don't know how to but what if he's using us to kill the other him well so see, that I he thought, doesn't i thought about that and actually because i i thought you might be right but then when we were on the moving sidewalk and the very creepy uh fro frog man without a frog face came on and just stared at us um i was less inclined to think that maybe this is the wrong one also just just on the off chance that we like i don't know if time is like alive if that was what this thing is implying or if it just really likes the flow of time i don't know um i also don't really want to piss off a oh god if that's what that is so at the very least i'm not saying that we don't write off going after Stabbert, which sounds really mean, 
But I do think that I would like to at least like go in and like see what this guy's deal is. Because if we go in and he's just like, it's me, I'm the super killer guy. Why? <laughs> because fuck time or something. You know, I, I feel like we're going to be like, that's a pretty clear a quick shot. I don't know. Okay, additionally, do we have to kill both Stabbert and Myrtler for D's to get the win, though? Oh. Well, I mean, ta- like, like they're we- both the same thing, just at different points in time. Right. That's true. Right. But, but. Oh, no, please, please, please. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. This kind of jumps back to that same argument we were having earlier today, um, where, like, because even though the crimes have been committed, they also technically haven't been committed yet by this version of him. Um, so okay. I don't know. I I think I think what the, the smartest course of action would be is just to like warily side eye stab Bert, and then just kind of go and see what the murderer's deal is. Um, and if we're just getting <laughs> weird or like inconsistent vibes. Um, I mean, revisit this. I just, I'm just really curious. I just kind of want, don't want to like kill Stabbert and then have that be like a massive mistake and we cause a time loop or something, or the god of time shows up and backhands us. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. All right. Stabbert. Well, Stabby. Stabbert, come back. Uh, Stabby fall frog falls on his broken arm and he goes, no. Oh, oh dude. <sighs> Oh, oh and he stands arm. back up and why would and, you do this? Oh, the moving, <laughs> the moving, the moving sidewalk was a, li- a little bit too much for me to handle. Are we ready to yeah. proceed, comrades? Uh, yeah. Yay! Yeah. Verily. Verily, indeed. <laughs> uh, and he goes over and knocks on the door with his good arm, which just like swings open. This is your office. I, I was going to say, oh. I pushed the door open. You're so <laughs> right. Uh, everyone, come on in. Uh, <laughs> as the. <laughs> as the Seven of you <laughs> enter into uh, this this office. So the interior of it is both like underground bunker chic and like uh-huh. CEO office chic. So you got like some bunky looking stuff, some chic looking stuff. And uh, behind this large, impressive, maybe concrete desk, it looks uh-huh. absolutely immovable. Uh, sits that that same man who you saw staring at you from the TVs, and he says, mm-hmm. "Hello, everyone." So, Hi, Murdler. Uh, yes, I yes, it's yes. It's Hello, me the Murdler. Hi. I guess that's not really my name. But you but... remember no, the conversation? We, we named so... you that, though. Yes, yeah, I were... remember the conversation. And you agree to it, so therefore adhere to it. That was a different time, Cosmo. Doesn't matter. It's. No, I mean, it was also the, like minutes ago. I was going to say, it's actually currently the time, Mr. Murdler. I don't like how pointedly you keep saying my name. Uh, well, I know all of you, of course. Chris, Iris, the Fingies, and Dees. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Are you going to say that we've been like best <laughs> friends for like 15 years and then you turned evil and now we, we you know we're here to stop you or something? I know your names, not your stories. Let's not okay, get nice. okay. ahead of ourselves here. And uh, Stabby Frog kind of comes through and he says, You forsook the hood. You removed it and bared yourself to the world again. Why? Why did you forsake the order? And the murderer says, Where I came from, there was no order. Now, Standing in your shoes, even you, Stabbert, (laughs) I understand the implausibility of what I'm about to tell you. And to be fair, it won't matter. All of this has already happened. All of this is set on the course. Your destinies may not be set in stone, but the outcome is. What waits for you at the end of this journey is the end of all things. Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> I hate the end of all things. But but that happens at the end of all things anyway. Uh, Stabby oh, Frog, it. Stabby Frog, who looks very upset by this, says, "We dine with demons and angels. We serve concepts. What possible force 
could bring about this kind of reaction, surely. There is nothing that we don't know. And the murderer says, I'm sorry, old friend. This is the tip of the iceberg. You're all spiraling towards it. I don't think there's a way to stop it. I certainly gave up, and I was one of the last ones left. I, of course, already knew where I was going, because I'd done it before. So I traveled back, and I founded the Bovarium. And I bided my time, waiting for this day. Why? Why? I already knew it was happening. You knew it was happening. So you just adhered to your own memory instead of trying, attempting to deviate even just to see what happened? I'm afraid that's not how it works, Cosmo. It absolutely is. You came back, you remembered that this occurred, so you chose to make it happen. You chose to found the Bovarium, did you not? Well, yes, but I, it's because I already had done it. Yeah, and but... what if you had chosen to recognize that fact and still do something different? Well, no, that's that's not how this works. You abandoned time. You took the mask off. So why did you still follow its path? No, this is the way that it was it was already written. By so not why not why not write something else then? We are not. You're, you're, writers, you already know that the fixers. end is. Well, We're... but you're not fixing right now. Clearly, you Jesus took the mask like, yeah, off. You you kind of. You kind of broke it. I, dude, it sounds like you just suck. Like, I don't know what to tell you, man. You didn't I mean, even it just try. sounds like it's it sounds like you like so. So you, you're here to fix things, but you've already decided that there isn't fixing the way that things turn out. So you've just come here to do the already fixed thing in time instead of, I don't know, you, you like forsook time and now you're not even just going to try and like play around with it at all and, and you just here's, killed people too like yeah, what the fuck a, yeah what the heck's that what the, what the, yeah. the heck was with that that's ridiculous here's my thinking you you came from a timeline a plane where things were ending and you knew you would be coming here to a different point in time before that happened you had already given up and you knew you would get a second chance Literally, how long have you been here? And all you did was choose to run the course of history you were familiar with instead of trying to find a new way with the opportunity you were presented on a silver platter. Don't tell me that's not how that works. What, did you just get shit out into reality and then stand up, dust yourself off and go, time to go find some cows? <laughs> like... I mean, literally, like, did, hang on, were any of these murders calculated, or did you just do the murders that you knew that future you committed? Who are these people? Did they ever have to die? Were you just and, killing people until they just, until, like, we just got on your case? No, these were already murders that had happened. I was just following the way that things had flowed. How do you know that you were the one that killed those people in the first place? Because I did it. Why? Because it's the way that things happened. I can't ask you, you to understand it. Well, instead of us trying to understand it, why not just go against that? Though is the thing. You're st you've you've the point. The point is that you you forsaken the mask or whatever but you're still following the rules of a society that you do not partake in. And D says, yeah, this guy's a fucking dick. Can we just get this over with? Yeah. And uh, hmm, what do we think? I think this episode might come up a little short, but I think I'm okay with that. Are we good with, uh, we'll do the, we'll do the big fight next time. Sure. Yeah. All right. That's what we'll do. B I stay really tuned. Think <laughs> what? I was gonna say, I really think you should name this episode the Murdler. <laughs> Oh, it's the murderer. It already is the murderer. <laughs> I've I've also come from a future where this has already happened, and I can tell you, <laughs> this episode is named the murderer. Can you can you real quick though? Can you spell murderer? Um, I have it. Um, is it like M U R D L E R? Yeah, that's what I have. Yeah. Do you all have murderer? 
<laughs> yeah. Well, I didn't I write it down, but that's just, that's the just how it sounds in my head, you know? I can literally read for you guys my, 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 my fun notes really fast. It says, Weird-looking guy with white eyes, pointing to, The murderer is a rogue agent, and he took his mask off. Then I starred Bunk Bunk Chic Office Corps. <laughs> Drew a face, wrote, Murdler came from 2.5, underlined Armageddon three times, and noticed the final end of all things, and then I another really long bullet point pointing back to the Murdler who dines with angels, demons, and serves concepts. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Armageddon. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you to Mango, Amanda Crondar, Morgan Mulbrandt, Emmy Lynn Laderna, Smarties, Charlie Rose, and Adam Carpenter for their continued support of the show. You can support the show at patreon.com slash tincast and get access to special features, bonus content, get thanked every single week, and much, much more. Right now on Patreon, we have The Rat Queen, our November bonus episode, which we will be providing a sneak peek of next week. We have free trials and exclusive access to the content that you might be interested in. Please remember to tell a friend about This Isn't Normal. Please remember to rate, comment, subscribe, smash the like button. And, uh, I don't know, <laughs> stay safe, drink lots of water, have a great week, happy December, we will catch you next week with another, the finale, the Dairy Tim finale is next week, oh my gosh, that's kind of crazy, well, we'll see you then, Bye bye